was interesting. I showed my wife a movie. That name of the movie is like, that's how far. So I showed it to my wife. This is the least of the
They were paying attention. This is good. Good morning, everyone, family, friends, staff, and most of all, the class of 2016. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, give them a cheer. They made it. Almost. Welcome to our Senior Awards Assembly. Uh, I really am not going to say too much at the moment because we have a lot of awards to give out this morning. There's a lot of deserving seniors on every possible level at this building. So I'm going to just get started right away. And our first set of awards are the Academic Awards. These awards are presented to those seniors who have the highest scholastic achievement in each special area of our program. So we're going to, um, if you look at your program, it goes right in alphabetical order. We're going to start with our art department and then follow right along. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Mr. Farrell, I'm here to give out the uh, Excellence in Art Award. Uh, this year it goes to a student who's come a long way over the couple years that I've known her. Uh, she's very proud of her. She's accomplished a lot this year and really developed into an a, a excellent young artist. This goes to Jennifer Whipple. This year's Excellent in Band Award goes to a senior who has been our drum major, our band president, and an excellent musician, Griffin Barber. Um, I was just asked to present a few uh, things. This year the band has been um, very outstanding achievements. Um, district festival, all state festivals, all American musicians, and we concluded with our symphonic band and with ensemble receiving first place gold medals in World Stripe uh, competition in Virginia Beach. So I'd just like the uh, senior band members to be standing to be recognized, please. Thank you. This year's Business Education Award goes to Dominique Goodman. Marconi, he's a junior right now. Uh, he just, I just pulled this out of the kiln for him. He's in Ceramics 1. I thought I'd give him a shout out. <laughs> it's epic, right? Crazy. Uh, knock, knock. Ceramics Award. Keanu Marano. one of the strongest leaders and singers we've ever had in the choral department. His humble confidence and passion for music earned him a spot in the Northeast District Chorus the past two years and helped lead the chorus to an extremely successful four gold medal winning season. I'm happy to present this award um, to Chorus President Danny Molman.
so I was asked to say a couple things about them. Of course, this season this year. Um, it was actually the most successful year in the history of the North Andover High School Choral Department. We had a record-breaking number of singers accepted into the Northeastern District Chorus. Um, there was nine of them. And I've had four choral students accepted into the All-State Choir. This spring, the Concert Choir and Scarlet Black Singers earned gold medals at both our state and national competitions. And the Scarlet and Black Singers even earned perfect scores from two out of the three judges. Um, and pianist Frank Zhao, um, he's a junior, he was recognized as being the outstanding accompanist at our national festival. And because of these high scores, both choirs performed at the Massachusetts Gold Medal Showcase this past April, and will be performing at the Festival of Gold with other gold medal groups from across the country in Los Angeles, California next March. Um, will the members of the concert choir and Scarlet Black Singers please stand to be recognized for your achievements. Thank you. At this rate, you guys are never going to get out of here. English award goes to Mia Drury. This year's Food Service Training Award goes to Dickerson Asensio. This year's award for excellence in graphic design goes to Anna Koken. This year's History Social Studies Award goes to Rory Okaru. Excellence in Mathematics Award goes to Sarab Kumar. Next award is the Photography Award. This goes to a student who uh, has a natural ability in photography and worked hard all year. Even though she couldn't be in the AP class physically, we fit it in her schedule and she did a major accomplishment by completing it. Uh, Sophie McLaughlin, come on up. The award for academic excellence in science and technology goes to Sarag Kumar. This year's award for wellness to recognize the student's work, commitment to personal growth, physical fitness, and leadership goes to Michelle Poirier.
The award for learning English as a second language goes to a student who has come so far in four years, Chin Chin Ping Lo. This year's recipient of the French Language Award actually earned a five on the AP as a junior. Alors c'est avec la plus grande joie et fierté que je décerne le prix de français à Adam Magaletta. German Award. Dieses Jahr geht die Auszeichnung für vorzügliche Leistung in der deutschen Sprache an Alison Lunny. Este año me gustaría presentar el premio de la lengua española a Joey Kramer. Before I move on to the next presenter, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge some people here that are not only important to our community, but also to North Andover High School. Um, our new superintendent of schools, Dr. Jennifer Price, who will be giving out the next award, is here. Our two super, uh, assistant superintendents, Mr. Gilligan, some of you may remember from your time at Thompson, and Mr. Mealy. And we also have one member of our school committee present at the moment, Amy Mabley. Thank you for coming. And I really want to thank the um, person way beyond me who puts any of this together, and that's my administrative assistant in the main office, Mrs. Pat Grasses. Pat, you need to come out for a minute so people can acknowledge you. <laughs> you all know Mrs. Grasses. And now I'd like to introduce our superintendent. Congratulations, class of 2016. I hope you're having a great week. Um, I am here to award the superintendent's certificate of excellence to two very accomplished yet humble young men, Rory O'Carroll and Saurabh Kumar. <laughs> segment of the program is what we uh, really cleverly call special awards. Students who have been honored by an educational organization or institution other than by our high school are going to receive recognition at this time. So we have a series of book awards. These go to juniors. So the first one, or actually first two awards, are from St. Michael's College. And we have Alexis Ket Kachachi? I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing this correctly. C-A-C-A-C-E, Alexis, and Yefim Shenendern.
The next award is the Regis College Book Award, and that is going to Frank Zhao. The Cornell University Book Award goes to Kunal Gala. The Columbia University Book Award goes to Kiara Wolf. The College of the Holy Cross Book Award goes to Caroline Melvin. The Yale University Book Award will be going to Lily Vogt. The book award from Dartmouth College will be Jason Chen. <laughs> and now it's my pleasure to introduce Diane Huster, who will present the Harvard University Book Award and the, Women, the League of Women Voters Book Award. As was defined by the Harvard Alumni Association, the prize book is awarded to the outstanding student in the junior class who displays excellence in scholarship and high character combined with achievement in other fields. The winners of this award through their intelligence and variety of achievement exemplify Harvard's commitment to excellence. The Harvard Club of the Merrimack Valley is proud to present this award to Mark Close. of Andover North Andover annually sponsors a book award at North Andover High School, recognizing an underclassman who has demonstrated League of Women Voter principles and commitment. The criteria the League uses is that the student be a junior in the top half of the class, male or female, who has demonstrated an active involvement in community political endeavors such as voter education, registration, human rights, civil rights, environmental concerns, etc. In other words, that he or she 
is an activist in areas in which the League of Women Voters also is active. The recipient for 2016 is Sadie Mays. We're going to veer off the program for just a minute, and I'm going to invite Mr. North Andover up here, Dave M. Duan. Don't worry, it's only a page. Single space, though, so. So, um, so first off, I want to thank uh, Dr. Cesarello for allowing me to kind of speak today. Uh, you knew, who knew that tweeting at the principal would actually work? Um, before I say anything else, I would like us to congratulate one another for completing these four years and finally being able to move on to bigger and better things. Um, now that we're done with all the necessary banter, like the thank yous and the congratulations, I want to talk about the topic I came to discuss. Honestly, when I was told that I would be able to speak at awards day, I was really excited, but this speech was going to be very different from what it is right now. I told Dr. Schiazzarella that I would start writing Monday of senior week, not only because I knew I was going to procrastinate like I always do, um, but also because I wanted to take the time after our last day to soak in the complete high school experience. What I didn't realize was that my perspective would change drastically. What I originally wanted to do in my speech was to reminisce about all the great times we've had, but what I realize is more important to talk about as we enter into this new phase of life is the impact that these great times have had. All right. So why are we here today? Awards Day, to recognize the achievements made by specific individuals. When we walked into NHS the first time, or at least when I did, I was pretty insecure about the person I saw in the mirror. Although I did not know it at the time, I was going to learn a lot in the next four years. This nervous, anxious, little chubby Indian boy walked through the doors and began his four-year journey. Hopefully this doesn't sound too foreign from what you all experienced when you got here, other than the little chubby Indian part. <laughs> but as the years went on, we began to shed our insecurities and that nervousness we felt the first day, mainly because we were becoming comfortable with ourselves. We started to realize that people that we like to hang out with, the things that we like to do, and the things that we like to learn in our spare time, but most importantly, we started to become us. This class, the class of 2016, the class that is aware of everyone's individuality, and instead of singling out their uniqueness, learns to support and cherish the diversity within our grade. This is why we are here today to celebrate and recognize everyone's contribution to what makes us, us. Whether we like it or not, high school has had a huge impact on us. It has built the foundation for what we face in the future. Whether it be the teachers we've learned from, or the environment that we grew up in and the community that we've grown up in, or other students we've connected with, everything has shaped us to become who we are today. In terms of teachers, I couldn't have been able to tell you the angles of on a radiant circle without Mr. Southwick, or honestly have been able to write this speech with almost perfect grammar. In terms of community, as much as we hate to say it, Ray's has helped us stay aware of being human towards each other. I hear horror stories from other high schools and other schools about bullying and violence, and I'm proud to say that as a class of 2016, we are mature enough to understand that everyone is different and that everyone deserves to be respected for who they are. And finally, in terms of our student body, I would like to personally thank all of you for helping me become the person I am today. Because for the first time, when I look into the mirror, I'm proud of the person that I see. And without any of you, that would never have happened. So hopefully you won't forget about NHS and the time you spent here, because at the end of the day, this school has made you the person you are. And I am proud to be a class of the proud to be a part of the class of 2016. I hope you are too. All right. 
so the we had a number of students who were commended by the National Merit Scholarship Program. So they were honored earlier in the year at a school committee meeting, but I'd like you to stand, please, from the senior class. If you were a commended National Merit Scholar. Come on, I know you're out there. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. All right, good job. <laughs> Thank you. We also have a number of students who, um, because of the number of AP tests they've taken over their years here and the scores that they got on them, they have specific designations through the AP program. So I'd like the following students to stand and be recognized for being AP scholars, which means that they got a minimum of a 3.0 to um, higher, obviously, to a 5.0 on more than two AP tests. So Jillian Bauer, Jessica Bolduke, Zach Bontempo, Layla Cross, Devin Duam, Mia Drury, John Ferris, Shakala Kondjawa, Yunji Koo, Shannon McElroy, Tommy Regan, Quinn Relihan, Matthew Tabola, and Brian Verautzis. Thank you. And then we also have members of the class of 2016 who are what they call AP scholars with honors. And this means that they've gotten a 3.5 or higher on a minimum of three AP tests. So the following 10 students, Jessica Chang, Joy Duboff, Yan Husik Jun, Anna Koken, Sarab Kumar, Adam Madalek Magaletta, Jillian Nazaro, Nazaro, Rory O'Carroll, Elizabeth Volk, and Melissa Wen. Thank you all. And now I'd like to present um, a certificate of achievement from the Massachusetts Secondary School Administrators Association, which is um, all secondary principals in Massachusetts generally belong to this organization and they leave it up to principals to recognize someone from their graduating classes who has um, made their mark on their school. The young lady that is going to receive this award is just an all-around good citizen of North Andover High School, a tremendous three-sport athlete, and is right now leading our girls lacrosse team as they march through the state tournament, Abby Corrales. The next set of awards are called the President's, sorry, the President's Award for Educational Excellence. There is very specific criteria for this award. You have to have a minimum of a 4.0 GPA. You must have 700 on at least two of the three SAT tests, and you must have advanced in our state, advanced on your MCAS. So it's not a huge group of people. Um, President Obama was a little busy today, couldn't fly in, so I do want to read the letter that comes with this award. Congratulations on being recognized as a 2016 President's Education Award recipient. I believe that honoring... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, all right. This is not the President's letter, I'm sorry. It is from the Secretary of Education. We'll get the president's letter and get it with your awards. Anyway, President Barack Obama and I believe that honoring student achievement and commitment is important. With specific goals and high aspirations, we can encourage our nation's young people to continue to achieve at higher levels. The President's Education Award seeks to honor students who meet challenging standards of academic excellence, as well as those who have overcome obstacles to their learning. It recognizes achievement and hard work in the classroom while encouraging students to reach even higher. 
As you receive this award, you remind us that hard work can pay off and that anything is possible with determination and effort. By earning this award, you have, a set, you have set a path of high expectations and can inspire your peers to do so as well. I urge you to continue to challenge yourself to be the very best. And it is signed John B. King, Jr., the Acting Secretary of Education. So I'm going to call students up to receive this certificate. Griffin Barber. Jillian Bauer, Jessica Bullduk, Dimitri Bracos, Jessica Chang, Mia Drury. Yunji Ku, <laughs> Sarab Kumar, <laughs> Adam Magaletta, I may as well take Adam, <laughs> Shannon McElroy. Rory O'Carroll, <laughs> Melissa Wen, <laughs> and Lucy Yu. And now I'd like to introduce Sergeant Dario Ramirez to give out some awards from the United States Marine Corps. Thank you. Thank you. The Marine Corps likes to recognize those individuals, those students that excel in different fields, academics, athletics, and also music. And today is with great pleasure that we recognize just a few. For distinguished athletic awards goes to Michael, Michelle, excuse me, Michelle Pryor and Proyer, I apologize, and Brett Kazansky. This year's Scholastic Award goes to Rory O'Carroll. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. for musician ex excellence goes to Demetrius Castillo. Thank you. Next up is Mrs. O'Terry to present awards in science that are given by outside groups. The Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award recognizes current juniors that show exceptional promise. Students are nominated based on exceptional performance in math and science. 
This year's recipient is Jason Chen. The Rensselaer Medal is awarded to promise, promising secondary juniors who have distinguished themselves in math and science. This year's recipient is Mark Close. The Society of Women Engineers Merit Certificate Program recognizes three young women who have demonstrated high achievement in science and mathematics, particularly in physics. I have three awards, first receiving honors in physics, Joy Duboff. Next, receiving high honors in physics, Melissa Wen. And finally, receiving highest honors in physics, Jessica Bolda. Robotics is the next set of awards. This year, the North End of our high school robotics program reached a new level. We had two, for the first time, we had two teams advance to the New England Regionals and then from there to the World Championships in Louisville, Kentucky, where 500 teams from 31 countries compete for three days to win the World Championship Award. Both our teams reached the final rounds at that competition and one of the teams, Team A, also ranked sixth out of those 500 teams in the individual robot skills competition. Uh, I'd like teams A and B both to come forward. So, um, so Dimitri Brackos, JJ Ferris, Connor Ford, Josh Howell, Nkyuk Jian, Terry Hurst, Sarab Kumar, and Tez Sheth. Please give them a round of applause. Another one of our programs that has been continually expanding and getting um, out of the state competition to nationals is DECA. So I'm going to invite Mr. Mafiona. DECA is an organization for our business students. It, they compete in different categories in management, finance, and marketing. This year we had two very special awards from National DECA. The first is the DECA Emerging Leaders Award. This award provides a graduating senior recognition for being an academically prepared, community oriented, professionally responsible, and experienced leader throughout DECA. Our award winner this year exceeded all expectations. Congratulations to Emma Balicki.
Next, we had a group place in top 10 at nationals. This group competed in the community service category. They finished first at districts, second at states, and got called up in front of 17,000 people at the Bridgestone Arena in Nashville for finishing in the top 10. The most impressive part of their project wasn't where they placed, but what they were able to accomplish. For their project, they put on the very first Relay for Life right here in this gym back in February, uh, the very first Relay in North Andover. Uh, they were able to raise uh, $32,000, over $32,000 $32, for the American Cancer Society. The group was Emma Balicki, Shannon McElroy, and Becca Riedel. Please come up. Next is the Gorman Peace Prize. This is presented to a faculty member and member of the student body for contributions to our school community. Generally, the recipients embody what has come to be known as the values of RAISE, respect, achievement, inclusion, service, and empathy. At this time, I'd like to invite our Director of Guidance, Steve Nugent, up to present the award to the student. It is an incredible honor for me to hand out the 2016 Rick Gorman Peace Prize to our assistant to the athletic director, Mr. Lenny Degnan. known as the mayor of North Andover High School. Faculty member, the two staff members receiving this award today are well-known faces at NAHS. However, although their students are frequently recognized for excellence, these two prefer to quietly go about their work and are almost embarrassed when attention is thrown their way. I'm about to cause some great embarrassment, I'm afraid. There were not enough adjectives to describe how I feel about both of these professionals and the program they oversee. Because of Justin Smalley and Sarah Durkin, <laughs> our music program is second to none. It has blossomed into a truly amazing part of everything that is great about our school. Each group is so talented and so special. You both bring out the absolute best in our students, and the piece for me that means the most is that year in and year out, those students talk about what they've learned, learned from you both, and it's so much more than producing music. You are both tremendous role models. I feel very lucky to have you both directing our music program, teaching and guiding our students. I am always so proud to sit and listen to our talented musicians. No principal could ask for more. I have a quote framed in my office that says, I must study politics and war, that my sons have liberty to study math and philosophy in order to give their children a right to study painting, poetry, and music. President John Adams said that, and it is a constant reminder to me of why we must appreciate and cherish all subjects. The 2016 Peace Prize is presented with a great deal of respect and pride to our music teachers, Justin Smalley and Sarah Durkin.
many pieces of paper. The Scarlet Knights Award. The Scarlet Knight Award is given to a member of the senior class who has made North Andover High School a better place in some way. Most often, this student works quietly behind the scenes. This senior has a wonderful way of working with all types of people and helps bring out the best in all of those around him. He is positive and focused. It is the type of young man that he is. His pleasant manner, great attitude, and willingness to help peers and staff will be missed by all of us who have come to depend on him. This senior possesses great leadership ability and is a wonderful role model for other students. He is always smiling. Rumor even has it that he has what was described to me as a hilarious sense of humor. It is my great honor to present the Scarlet Knight Award to senior Alex Tran. The next award, there are two, is the Principal's Award for 2016. Over his time at North Andover High School, this student has grown to become a very hardworking and creative student as well as a caring individual. One teacher had this to say about him. From sophomore to senior year, this student grew into one of the most respectful and reliable young men in the building. He is a genuine, genuine young man who I I'm so happy to have met. I have been very impressed as I have watched him set, embrace, and reach his goals. This student has proven to be a natural leader inside and outside of the classroom. Whether he's encouraging his friends to reach their fullest potential or volunteering in a classroom with younger students and making them feel as if they can achieve anything they set their mind to. This student made Scarlet Knight Academy a better place by his presence. The Principal's Award for Scarlet Knight Academy and North Andover High School goes to Kyle Goulet. The second Principal's Award is a senior who's worked diligently on the behalf of North Andover High School through our student council. Always full of creative ideas, she's been a valued member of our student government. The senior has taken the NAHS student council to regional involvement, which climaxed this past fall when we hosted the regional conference here for the first time ever. She has also been an active participant in the state student council summer conference, which has helped put NAHS Student Council on the map. Jamie Mattel has been a conscientious, dedicated member of our Student Council, and I am so very happy to present her with the 2016 Principal's Award in recognition of all that she has done to make NAHS a better place. And now we have two Good Citizen Awards. I'm going to introduce Mrs. Driscoll to present the first. In presenting this award, I am reminded that there are many paths to excellence and not everyone takes the same one. Throughout the student's four years at North Andover High School, he's overcome many obstacles to become the outstanding citizen both inside and outside of the classroom. This student consistently has a positive attitude is respectful and considerate, always the first person to lend a hand to his fellow students or his teachers. He has worked hard to discover what makes him happy and what he's good at. He is focused on what is important to him, he appreciates the little things in life, and he makes people feel better about who they are. I am proud to announce the winner of the Citizens Award goes to Robert Picardi.
We will share this with him later. The second Good Citizen Award this year goes to uh, a young man who um, was recognized earlier, but I really felt that he deserved recognition in front of all his classmates and the community once again. Earlier this year, our recipient helped literally save another student's life. Although at the time, Brett thought he was just helping another NAHS student who didn't look okay, Brett's quick action of getting involved helped another student who was having a severe allergic reaction. And yes, the student could have died. Brett is a great example of not being a bystander. He saw someone having difficulty and he jumped in to help. We are all very grateful that he did so. And I want to be sure that we thank him publicly once again for not being a bystander. I am pleased to recognize senior Brett Kachansky as a Good Citizen Award recipient for 2016. And now I'd like to introduce to you officially the valedictorian, Rory O'Carroll, and the salutatorian for the class of 2016, Sarab Kumar. And now we'd like to award and recognize students who have excelled in our activity program. The following awards are being made to those seniors who have demonstrated leadership to an outstanding degree in a major school activity. And we will again go in alphabetical order. We'll start with Best Buddies. This year's Best Buddy Award goes to Michelle Poirier. ironic that for the Cosmos Club, the one person who didn't miss a meeting this year can't be here because he had to work today. So let's have a hand for uh, Aris Aguirre-Canetti as the uh, Cosmos Award. This year's Decker Award goes to Douglas Starrett. John McGill Award goes to a student who has been active for the last four years and has been an outstanding leader and was very instrumental in making some very positive program changes this year, Selena Hawker. This year's much deserved math team award uh, goes to Saurabh Kumar.
This year's Model UN Award goes to a young lady whose contributions too often went unrecognized but made the club a much better uh, place for everyone involved, Christina Damien. This year's National Honor Society Award goes to Mia Drury. This year's SAD Award goes to President Alana Friedman. This year's Science Team Award goes to Melissa Wen. This year's Spirit Club Award goes to a young lady who showed smashing enthusiasm, took on a great leadership role, and was a super help with choreography for Pep Rally, Miss Sarah Goudreau. The award for student ambassadors goes to Carolyn Roach. For her uh, contributions over the past four years, the Student Council Award goes to Jamie Martelli. This year's Ultimate Frisbee Award goes to Luis Bellasguardo. On behalf of Ms. Bradbury and myself, the Yearbook Award goes to Marissa Langdon. The next awards are in athletics. The following awards in each varsity level sport are presented to the male and female senior athletes who have made the most significant contribution to a team during the time that he or she has been associated with that team. 
So we will start with baseball. The 2016 Baseball Award goes to Brendan Parasoto. On behalf of Coach Tanglis, the Boys Basketball Award goes to Robert Comusion. This year's Girls Basketball Award goes to Abby Corrales. This year's Fall Cheerleading Award goes to Nerissa Moriarty. This year's Fall Cross Country Award for Boys goes to Matt Tabola. The Girls Cross Country Award goes to Mia Drury. This year's Field Hockey Award goes to Emma Johns. This year's Football Award goes to a student athlete who I think is the perfect representation of our program in the town of North Andover, Tommy Regan. On behalf of Coach Farley, this year's golf award goes to John McKay. The gymnastics award goes to Joya Krovitz. On behalf of Coach Kane, this year's Girls Hockey Award goes to Alex Cazell.
This year's Boys Ice Hockey Award goes to Zachary Martino. The 2016 Boys Lacrosse Award goes to Adam Carito. <laughs> this year's Girls Lacrosse Award goes to Julia Mirandi. The 2016 Boys Ski Team Award goes to Connor Masterson. The Girls Ski Team Award goes to Olivia Killerlay. For boys soccer, Paul DeMaio. This year's soccer award goes to Abby Krells. This year's softball award goes to Susan Mather. This year's Girls Swimming and Diving Award goes to Sydney So. This year's Boys Swimming and Diving Award goes to Aiden Walsh. On behalf of Coach Burgesson, this year's Boys Tennis Award, Adam Magaletta.
on behalf of Coach Labierre, this year's Girls Tennis Award, Yunji Koo. Girls Indoor Track Award goes to Devin Sportelli. <laughs> Devin will be competing in Greensboro, North Carolina in a little over a week in the Nationals along with her relay team. Girls Outdoor Track Award goes to Shannon Irwin. The award for indoor track for boys goes to Kyle Solois. The award for outdoor track boys goes to David Testa. Our first award ever for excellence in boys volleyball goes to Chin Lo. This year's Girls Volleyball Award goes to Jillian Boyle. On behalf of Coach Sincata, this year's Award for Excellence in Wrestling, Matthew Messina. I'd like to introduce the co-presidents of the North Andover High School Parent Advisory Council, uh, Barbara Whitten and Wendy Zimmerman. And I do want to let you know that they donated pretty much all of the funding for this podium. It's nice to have a new podium that's not all banged up, scratched, and everything else. So thank you so much. The, par the Parent Advisory Council would actually like to recognize Dr. Carla Gazzarella for your years of service to the high school. I'd like to call up the yearbook officers, editors, and Mrs. Wolf and Miss Bradbury to do the final presentations for the yearbook.
Good morning, everyone. Congratulations to all of you in the graduating class of 2016. We would like to take this opportunity to present yearbooks to people who have made a difference in our education and in our lives throughout our time at North Andover High School. First, we would like to represent, rep recognize our superintendent, Dr. Price. It has been a great first year and we are so grateful to have you in our community. Thank you for all of your hard work and support. You have had a great presence in our school and community, participating in various sporting events and school events throughout the town. Your dedication to improving the North Andover Public Schools has given us the best education and atmosphere possible. Please accept this yearbook on behalf of the class of 2016. Thank you. That was so nice. Thank you guys. I got to see it. Well done. Really good. Now we would like to recognize our Assistant Superintendent Gilligan. We appreciate everything that you do to keep this district up and running and the dedication that you have for our community. I'm sure we will never forget the moment when you came in, in the pep rally on the mini Vespa scooter. Thank you for all of the laughs, but most importantly, all of the hard work you put into the district. On behalf of the class of 2016, we would like to present you this yearbook. Next, the class of 2016 would like to thank our assistant, Superintendent Mealy. You work tirelessly to support our school system, and we cannot thank you enough for all that you have done for us. Please accept this yearbook as a thank you on behalf of the class of 2016. Next, the class of 2016 would like to give a huge thank you to our special education director, Mrs. Carbone. You have created an amazing special education system throughout the North Andover Public School District. You have given students with different needs and disabilities the opportunity to learn using methods best suited for each individual. We would also like to congratulate you on your retirement. We thank you for all the years that you have been a part of our school system, and we wish you a very happy retirement. Please accept this yearbook on behalf of the class of 2016. Next, we would like to honor the woman who has helped to keep us all in check for the past four years. Dr. Scazzarella has been very involved from day one and steps in to help whenever we need her. From coming to support us at home games, to pitching in with the girls' gymnastics team, and even chaperoning our class to Germany. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. We are so lucky that you've been with us during your last year here at North Andover High School. Thank you for all you have done for us, and we wish you the best of luck in the next chapter of your career. On behalf of the class of 2016, we would like to present you with this yearbook to show you our appreciation. Our next recipients are three very devoted individuals, Assistant Principals Mr. Jackson, Mr. Young, and Mrs. Driscoll, who have been extremely supportive throughout our entire journey. They have dedicated much of their time to making sure we walk into a safe and happy environment every day. We have been very fortunate to have them. On behalf of the class of 2016, please accept these yearbooks. Next, we would like to thank our administrative assistants, Ms. DiMario, Ms. Grassis, Ms. Roy, Ms. Conti, Ms. Stevens, and Ms. Gagney. Without their day-to-day -day assistance and organization, our school will not as run as smoothly as it does. We would like to thank you for all of, your, all of the help you provided in the making of this year's yearbook. Whether it was printing class lists or even helping us track down students, your hard work does not go unnoticed. We would like to present you this gift to show our gratitude.
also like to recognize Mrs. Francis and Mrs. Driscoll. Both class advisors have played an integral role in making our high school experience unforgettable, and they have put in countless hours of work to make our senior week and senior year memorable. We cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for our class. On behalf of the class of 2016, we would like to present each of you our yearbook to show our appreciation. Carol Strout has been a cherished member of the North Andover High School Special Education Department, and after many years of service, she is sadly retiring. We would like to take this time to honor her dedication to her work and her ability to touch the hearts of each student and faculty member she has worked with. On behalf of the class of 2016, thank you for your work, Mrs. Strout, and we wish you the best of luck in your retirement. Here to present Mrs. Strout with her yearbook, we welcome Mrs. Frank. introduce Mrs. Cody to speak about a special young man, Tommy Blackshaw, who has touched many lives within the North Andover community. Good morning. It is with immense pride that I tell you of North Andover High School's Class of 2016 overwhelming decision to dedicate their yearbook to Tommy Blackshaw. If you knew Tommy, you know what a great man he was. If you did not know him, know that he would have met you and made sure he did everything possible to help you. He would have stopped what he was doing to help you with homework, offer you a kind word, or give you his classic Tommy smile. That smile made everyone feel special. He gave of himself unconditionally, always, and never asked anything in return. He dealt daily with so very much, but he never wanted anyone to know about it or anyone to talk about it. Tommy was our shining light here at the high school in team and everywhere he went. Let us never lose sight of that. I know I won't. On behalf of the class of 2016, we would like to extend our eternal gratitude and present the 2016 yearbook dedicated to Tommy to the Blackshaw family with all our love and support. And in the words of our friend Tommy, peace out. Class of 2016, I know I speak on behalf of all five of us when I say it has been a pleasure creating our yearbook for you. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and hope that wherever the future leads you, you'll be able to flip through the pages of this book and remember the memories we shared here at the North Andover High School together. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite the senior class officers to come up for their presentation.
The North Andover High School class of 2016 will be donning red ribbons over their hearts uh, whenever we are wearing our caps and gowns throughout the entirety of our senior week in memory of Tommy Blackshaw. The ribbons are red to symbolize his involvement, uh, his special connection with the American Heart Association, and we wear them over our hearts uh, because even though he's not physically with us during this week, uh, he is with us in spirit and in heart. Thank you. Um, the class officers would also like to take this time to thank two individuals who have done a tremendous amount for the senior class. They worked alongside us every day, but they really worked behind the scenes for a lot of the senior class. Um, they're Mrs. Driscoll and Mrs. Francis, our two class advisors. They are in a huge way responsible for the success of our amazing senior prom and our senior week. And we just, we got them a little something and we really want to thank them and give them a round of applause, the appreciation that they deserve. So thank you guys. Thank you. All right, thank you guys very much. All right, so. I would be remiss if I didn't congratulate you on what an, that was a phenomenal prom on Sunday night for those of you that were there. Beautiful venue. We got complimented all over the place with how well behaved, polite, respectful you were while you were having such a great time. So thank you for representing not only this high school but your town at, to the best of your abilities. And I also know that you had a great day yesterday. Your clam bake was awesome. Foster's is actually run by a North Andover High grad, and they always take the time to tell us what wonderful young people we bring up there. So I'm glad the sun came out. I think it's the first time in about five years that you've actually been able to go to the beach and enjoy the beach up there and then go to your clam bake. So we have a scholarship night this evening for those of you that received letters and for everybody who wants to join in and support your classmates. And you have one more activity tomorrow and then it is on to the big show on Friday night. So congratulations to each and every one of you this morning for making it and for getting your awards and representing your school, your community, and your families to the best possible level. Congratulations 2016 and we'll see you later on.